Hey everybody, so I've been playing a lot of Minecraft, alright? So I redid one of my World Gem things, and I have a new procedure I wanted to share with you. So we start so far counting the blocks at zero. We start what's called a grid so far, which keeps track of a vector in the 3D world, just zero, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me, each time through we're going to use a do loop, okay? So as long as the number of blocks minus so far the number of blocks we've made is greater than a thousand then do the loop because I think the loop is going to produce at most a thousand blocks but it, no, it's gonna, not going to come close to that you'll see why in a second so choose a random size for the box here's why so the box x is going to be 5 to 20 z is going to be 5 to 20 and so it's going to be a square from 5 by 5 to 20 by 20 anywhere in there and then it's going to be 5 up to 8 in height okay and then choose a random color in the texture map and so we keep that t same random color throughout the production of these blocks for the houses for the boxes and I create hollow houses I'm not going to fill them in I'm not going to draw that many blocks and we want to be able to walk through them and see so it's just a matter of figuring out the loops and doing all this stuff and there's a couple of glitches that you'll see but I pretty much don't care about the glitches at this point and we're just doing it like this. Cube positions, see we just keep creating them. Um, basically I go through the Y, okay, and if we're cycling through the Y, going from the ground up, okay, and we're at the zero level or the size Y level, which is the very top. Oh wait, that's why it's, okay, I just figured out one problem there. Let me save that. So we go, if it's either 0 or size y minus 1, right? So we're still inside the loop. The loop is going. Then it loops through the entirety of the x and z axis and fills in a cube with the color of the texture we've specified. It advances so far, and it adds a scale of 1. If it's not the first or the last, which we're filling in completely, then it's the center where it's hollow, and we have to loop through, and I just did two separate loops. I did, first you loop through the X and you create um, two points here along the X and Y at the grid so far Z and grid so far Z plus Z minus one. So that's at the very edges. You're just creating two blocks and you're going through the entire size of the X. And the same thing with Z, just do it in regard to X. You loop through the Z axis and you create an X and an X my, at size x minus one, one. Anyways, if you think about creating a hollow cube, that's how you do it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then I wanted them all to line up along the x z axis, and for a while I was just kind of adding the y and z stuff to it each time through the loop, and then they were diagonally going off into this insanity. So, so each time through the the loop, we just advance the x size of x plus 1, which is the random size of the house that it's chosen, plus 1. So they're all separate by 1. And then if x gets to be greater than 100, which I don't want them to go farther than 100, then it resets it to 0 and advances z plus 21. And so it goes through that again until the blocks minus so far is 1,000. This is the result. So minus, except for I can't figure out why this block is missing on each one, except for why it's just missing on the first one and then each one the color is the same as the previous <laughs> block so there's just a little glitch but other than that you see if I pan up here you can see it's a little town that I'm building and I've got all these little houses in it and they're all different sizes and colors and I can go inside each one and here I am inside this house you see so and I'm just going through the different houses and I can just pop in any of these houses that I want. And so that's kind of cool. Whoops, let's go down below. And here you can see this is them from below. And it's just random colors, no choice or rhyme or, rhyme or reason to it. So, But anyways, I've been playing a lot of Minecraft and I'm fascinated with the idea of the village. So I figured I might as well throw together something that would be an homage to that. And I just love going through the little houses and stuff, picking up little things in the chest. So I want to make a game maybe that does that, you know. So anyways, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.